Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we're here to talk about how to find the percent of a number. Now, we'll do a few examples, so all you would need here are a pen or pencil, piece of paper, and a calculator should you need it. So, here we go. We're going to use it from a fractional uh, approach, and it's a pretty straightforward approach. Now, for example, we're going to talk about find 10% of, let's just say, 30. Now, it's a very straightforward process. Now, take the 10% to find out the actual value of 10% of 30. You take the 10% and you turn it into a fraction. Now, 10%, as you know, the, the highest percent you can have is, is 100. So you take 10 over 100. So you would take any percent that they give you and divide it over 100. And then you would multiply by the number that's given. Of 30, the number after the of is 30. So you would do 10 over 100 times 30. Now what you can do if you like is you can reduce the fraction that you have here. 10 over 100, as you know, is 1 over 10. And then you can multiply by 30. If you want, you can think of 30 as a fraction also. 30 over 1. And one approach to solve this would be multiplying across. That 1 times 30 is 30. And 10 times 1 is going to be 10. And you have 30 over 10. But as you also know, 30 over 10 reduces to 3. So that means 10% of 30 is going to equal to 3. Sounds simple? Well, let's do another example. Suppose you want to find 25% of, let's just say, 80. Now, do the exact same thing like we did above. Take the 25%, convert it. Take the 25, divide by 100. Always take the percent number and divide over 100. And then multiply by the number they give you here, which is 80. And if you like, think of 80 as 80 over 1. And again, it's a good idea to reduce fractions. That way, you don't have to work as many large numbers uh, down the road. Now, 25 over 100, yes, it is reducible by 25. So 25 over 100 is 1 over 4, and then times 80 over 1. And again, if you like, you can multiply across. 1 times 80 is 80, and 4 times 1 is going to be 4. And as you know, 80 divided by 4 is going to be 20. So what that means here is 25% of 80 is going to give you the grand total of 20. So you can do any percentage problems this way if you want to find out the percent of a number. And so the strategy is pretty straightforward. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to find the percent of a number.